Hello and welcome back to the lab where we take your questions and turn them into experiments. My name is Mitch. And I'm Greg. And a lot of you have been asking us about the next big superfood, which is kelp. And you know, we're very skeptical of superfood claims, but this one could be a miraculous <laughs> solution for climate change. And it's super healthy. There's only one issue, which is that it's really slimy and very gross, and American markets are not interested in eating it. <laughs> so we decided to team up with one of our favorite chefs, the lovely Hannah Hart, to see if we could make kelp taste good. This is kelp. It oh. is seaweed. It's grown in Maine. All right, so this is the dried kelp. Yeah, so this is before it's with water, and so there, it'll be salty, and it's actually the salt water of the ocean. Smell <laughs> <laughs> well, your carpet. Oh no! To so <laughs> making kelp taste good. To some good old-fashioned science. Agriculture accounts for one third of greenhouse gas emissions, but kelp has a negative footprint as it absorbs dissolved nitrogen, phosphorus, and carbon dioxide. We use 40% of Earth's land and three fourths of the fresh water for land agriculture, but the production of seaweed doesn't require any land to grow on, any fresh water, or the use of fertilizers and pesticides. It's like the Tesla of food. Recipe number one is the KLT. It's supposed to be a BLT, but we're replacing bacon with this kelp. Mm. And then lettuce, L, T, tomato, and D, delicious. Yes. Yes. Wait, so there are different types of kelp? Yeah, this is dulse. There's about 30 kinds of kelp that people are working with. Um, but yeah, this one is particularly known for tasting like it's bacon. It's supposed to taste like it, bacon. Try it now. It won't taste like bacon yet, I don't think. It smells heavily of foot. <laughs> Okay. So how do we turn kelp into bacon? We can just straight up fry this. Kelp contains iodine, magnesium, selenium, fiber, and it's rich in protein, vitamin B12, and even omega-3 fatty acids. There's a lot of good stuff in there. One study even found that the alginates in brown seaweed may inhibit the uptake of fat. That was so fast, I would say two minutes? Yeah, yeah literally. That was very it's easy. Quick, easy, yeah. let's give it a try. I'm in! Mm. Oh, yeah! Mm. 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 Not gonna lie, I'm convinced. Mm. This is totally a substitute okay. for bacon. If you stop eating bacon and start eating kelp, That's a replacement. You, you may also lose weight. True. Just in general. <laughs> Double whammo. <Yeah. laughs> You're probably already consuming kelp without realizing it. This is because seaweed actually has much less rigid cell walls than land plants, and they're rich in sugars that help them to bend and sway during the swells of the ocean. These sugars are known as alginates, carrageenans, and agars, and they are used to help bind and thicken things like toothpaste, shampoo, skin cream. They're also used in industrial foods like ice cream and also can make the head of your beer even better. Number two is our kelp and beans, which is a play on pork and beans. So we have our kelp that's been soaking to make it a bit easier to work with, <laughs> and we are just going to chop it up into lots of tiny pieces. So, do we have a knife? <laughs> That doesn't look like dog food at all. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> da, 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 da. You know what? Looks this looks delicious. Here's like, your kelp and beans. <laughs> oh man. It, you can taste like the, the fishy flavor. The more, the more like Nothing fishy. says a natural combination like sweet, salty beans <laughs> and, and fish. fish. <laughs> I would say that like the taste is much better than the smell. Yeah. It's not bad though. What if we put a little bit of the crunchy stuff on top? I just can't kelp myself. Well, it's more kelpy. <laughs> it just tastes like more kelp, yeah. <laughs> I had a moment where I was like, am I gonna gag? I don't think it's good. We've gone too far. I'm gonna go ahead and say a hard no to kelp and beans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Near many major cities, there's a big issue because there's too many nutrients in the water and it actually negatively affects the ecosystem. But kelp needs these nutrients to grow. So they actually grew kelp near the Bronx in New York City where there's obviously like probably not like the safest, cleanest water. Mm -hmm. And it didn't take in any heavy metals or toxins Whoa. or PCBs. It was able to grow and flourish there, actually grow faster because there was more nutrients. So you could grow this kelp down the street in New York City <laughs> and then you could just eat it and it would be great for the environment. Recipe number three is candied kelp. Now that's Ooh. a catchy little phrase. <laughs> so all you really do is you take your kelp. Mm -hmm. You have to soak this one too, so we're gonna soak oh. it in here. So How like, long do you soak it for? Uh, it says it can be anywhere from an hour to 12 hours, so it's up to you. So you just take it, cut it up, and then you mix it in with half a cup of water, half a cup of honey for about an hour, and then you have to bake it for 30 minutes at 300 degrees. So wow. it takes a little bit of a process. So That's unbelievable. Yay, so we have our final product, which is the candied cow for us to try. You know what? It's not that sweet. I think it's the best one so far. 
Really? This is my favorite. And I feel like it, could, it would like not fill you up, but you don't need a lot of it. Like my sweet mm -hmm. tooth is being like I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm done. I'm happy we were able to at least make some kelp yummy foods that we did like. It's awesome to know that it has like a good environmental effect as well. Kelp yes. lettuce and tomato sandwich. Let's do it, guys. Let's open that food truck. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. We want to make sure that you know we made another video on Hannah's channel. It was about the science. Of love. Yeah. Of love. yeah. So make sure to check out her channel. We'll leave a link for her video. <laughs> Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. We thank hope you tried these recipes. Yeah, I'm really happy. I'm very, very full of kelp. We'll see you soon. Peace.